All right, so uh, this will be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a, a Leo Rising. A, a weekly general tarot reading March 9th to um, March 15th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such so that being said uh, moving to the reading straight away here the first card is going to show us the topic of your week uh, leo and that is to be the knights of pentacles moving next we do have uh, the energy speeding and supporting the topic itself uh, that is to be the ace of pentacles afterwards uh, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week that is to be the two of swords then it is the gifts and the blessings uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week that is to be the hierophant and um, just by those four cards it does look like that that week is going to be um, how do you say it in English a week of sustainability or something like that that you are um, kind of like your actions are making something very very uh, 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 to, to stand very strong instead of being fragile and uh, and unreliable so moving next is going to be the the um, impression you leave into the people around here that is to be uh, the eight of cups and the last one is uh, the guidance that Tara is offering that is to be the six of wands so those a uh, six cards here is what we do have all right so uh, first couple of cards uh, are showing um, the situation with the uh, person that it is within your environment. You already should know that person itself. And uh, up until this point, uh, it, it looks like that you didn't have much of a, a point of contact whatsoever. But I say, I say it is about relationship. You both liked each other, but it's like, you didn't had much of a, a chance to get to know each other for one or another reason. Maybe you had pre, you were pretty busy at work. That person was pretty busy at work, and thus you didn't have much a uh, a chance to just to get to know to to get to know each other better and to have an opportunity, you know, to spend more time with one another. Same could be said about business as well. But what those two cards are saying really strongly here it is that throughout this week you are to have the opportunity with this person of the Knights of Pentacles to further the goal, whatever that goal is, that you do have in mind for that person itself. So the goal could be uh, to execute uh, a cumulative business. The goal could be to start um, the, um, uh, dating together and, and so on and so forth. Now, it does depend what you do require and what you do want. Uh, but there is no mistaking it here, Leo. It is that through these energies, you are to start like, feeling content about the situation with that person, Knights of Pentacles, and also the uh, the happening around the circumstances that are to be created uh, from those energies are to exhilarate you quite a lot. Not to mention that with this person itself, you are to enjoy a harmonious relationship. It doesn't have to be intimate though, so it will be a nice conversations in between you two. A good ideas are to be shared as well. And in generally a pleasant experience, it is what you are gonna have with that person. And also if it is about business, whatever business venture you are to plan or you are to start executing, you do have everything you need to make it a, a successful one a successful business venture now this person itself knights of pentacles they're usually very meticulous and very simplistic kind of uh, kind of a personality what i mean is that they don't like to kind of look at the uh, few steps ahead uh, but rather tackle the things one by now as they come around and as well they like to keep the things once again a simple they don't like a much of a um, uh, how can I say it? A, a risky uh, maneuvers and risky actions as well. But these people also, they very well know what they want and uh, are pretty aware how far they're willing to go and as well how much they're willing to invest as well. So what my point here is, is that if that person tackles with you one way or another, it is because it's worth it and not because they just want to kind of like 
are, uh, do it for the shits and giggles, for example, or just because they don't, they have a time to kill. They actually, that person actually have a concept and, and an idea how how well that is to developing between you two, either career-wise or either relationship as well. Now, I need to say as well that the Knight of Pentacles, as that is, is just a general reading. I don't know what your situation is all about, so I'm trying to touch on as much aspect as I can here. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles could represent a person who wants to jump into the old branches of love, meaning it could be an ex of yours, you know, or it could be someone that have failed to enthrall you back in the days, but now they're willing to try it again, um, per se. And uh, it looks like that the energies are quite favorable that they are to, su to succeed this time around. Uh, and uh, one last thing, about the Knights of Pentacles, these people were feeling a very predisposed if they spend time among nature, meaning that instead of kind of like a having a date into an expensive restaurant or into a fa fancy cafeteria, just having your cup of coffee in a in a bench at park, it's it will serve you much greater benefits than just trying to brag about you know how much how potential you do have to have a fancy life once again they are simple people they know they don't like to see um how can i say it? The, the shine of luxury around so uh moving next here for you guys it is uh, the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome here that is to be the two of swords so what the two of swords here points it is that uh maybe whenever you start tackling with the knights of pentacles you will think that everything is clear to you but that's not the case not at all uh, that card here points that there is a um some sort of a precious equilibrium that it is uh, or a precious balance, if you will, that the situation in between you and the Knights of Pentacles is lingering and hanging on. And wrong moves are going to disrupt the balance, therefore disrupt the, the pleasantry of the situation itself. So the challenge here is to be not to rush things around and rather try to maintain peace into the situation, meaning if you can avoid confrontations, that will be best thing that you can do. Uh, and uh, also uh, about decisions here, uh, as I said, you shouldn't rush things around. So before you decide what to do in any kind of a situation, not just only with that Knight of Pentacles, that person that it is uh, stepping out into your environment, but also with everything that you are to tackle with throughout the week, you have to consider all points of view there, okay? It's just, you can't just only look from your perspective, but also from the perspective of the people that are as well involved into that situation itself. Uh, moving next here, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. That is to be the Hierophant. So Hierophants, um, many tarot decks are calling it the Pope, right? The Patriarch, if you will. Well, the Hierophant is the true name of the card. Why? Because it, that's the father of the hierarchy. And it's as the father of the hierarchy, it tells you that things happen in string. What I mean is that you can't go for the orgasm before you have the uh, the sex, right? So everything has its own way to happen and you have to follow these, um, this natural unfoldment, if you will. So as a gift and blessing, the Hierophant grants you the natural unfoldment and that you are to find your place into that situation, which place is to resolve whatever insecurities and whatever issues you do have, uh, which the Hierophant is all about, about solving insecurities and issues, knowing that things are uh, unfolding exactly as they are supposed to unfold. Additionally to that, as a gift and blessings, that card gives you a trust. So whomever uh, you are to talk and, uh, and to tackle or whatever you are to do, these your actions and your decisions and as well your presence, if you will, is going to exert trust into the people around. And talking about love, uh, Hierophant actually put the love onto the backstage because through the trust and the mutual reliability into one relationship, one is to redefine what true love means for them. So uh, that being said, you are to be gifted with the definition, your own personal definition of what true love really means. 
Uh, moving next here, it will be uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the Eight of Cups. And that card, it is kind of like in an impression of a resignation in a sense of that, you know, if, if things aren't happening, maybe, maybe they're not meant for me. So it does depend what kind of a people you are surrounding yourself with because some may see you very weak person that is not willing to fight for what they have involved themselves into. Others, however, are to see you as a someone who kind of values their resources, you know, because you, you can't just throw on fuel into a, uh, a stove that does not want to burn and, and finally finding yourself without a fuel at all. So it's like, uh, it, it will vary into in, in between those that you are uh, that you are interacting with. But people who are more open minded are actually going to have quite a very positive opinion and it's going to cheer you out. However, those who are more orthodox, so that believe that you have to fight for your happiness and etc, etc, they are actually going to um, I criticize you a bit but with the eight of cups uh, overall people are going to see you as a, someone who is in a search of their better perspectives if you will that's uh, there are uh, situations you know into one's life that they don't kind of unfold the way that uh, one have anticipated in this case you leo and instead of trying to fix the unfixable you are more likely to redirect your uh, your efforts and your means as well toward things that actually have chance to happen the way you want them to happen so this is this is the uh, intentions that people are going to see in you and therefore they're going to see you as a, a person who is going by the wind or going by the fresh wind wherever the wind is blowing from or is blowing to this is where you go to as well and uh, moving to the uh, last card here just before we go to the last card uh, some personal thoughts so uh, you may face uh, uh, certain individuals into your uh, into your environment throughout the week that are finding you unreliable and that is because they kind of like from those people that are always doing the work the hard way rather than the smart way so it shouldn't be uh, a big deal for you if someone is finding you unreliable that means that they are just they they don't know when to stop while you do for what it seems and the last one here it is uh, the uh, guidance that Tara is offering this is the six of uh, wands and in your case Leo six of wands here points that you should aim for the peak of experiences or you should go wherever you do have a peak of experiences wherever you are recognized and whatever you are to have rewards of your labor meaning with the Knights of Pentacles so you do have a new enterprise here you do have a rare opportunity to further a goal with that person that you previously couldn't and that is your peak of experience and you should not shy away from it even if it does look um, immature unresponsible and a bit uh, unreliable from a certain portion of individuals say, around and another thing about uh, the six of uh, wands is the pride so you should be proud of your current achievements but that should not be a prerequisite where you should stop working for your own personal growth but instead you should use those achievements as a um, checkpoint you know a milestone if you will and from there you build up even further and lastly as a guidance sometimes six of one sits as the trusting the healthy sense of mistrust because successful people they do have enemies you know and uh yeah some of those which are around you may not have exactly clear motives or a uh good motives behind their actions towards you as well so just it's a reminder to uh be a bit careful how much you brag about the good fortune that is to bestow you upon this week march 9th to march 15th 2020 so that being said leo this was your weekly tarot reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again if you are interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below it's going to give you a link to my website uh, from which uh, you can decide what kind of a reading you want and depending on your reading within 24 hours upon purchase I'm going to contact you with the details how your reading is going to be carried on and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye